What are you doing here, Kate? I thought we were going to meet until tonight. Well, I thought I'd surprise you. You know how impatient I get on big dates. Uh, Fridays? Of course I know what today is. Yeah, you only remember because you know if you forget, I kick your ass. Can't argue there. You know, it kills me. I couldn't get you a real ring. I'll stop that. I know you work hard. And I know that if you could have, you would have bought me a whole diamond mine. Well, a girl as pretty as you deserves a ring to match. You know I'd marry you, ring or no ring. I love you, and that's all that matters. I love you too, Kate. That's why I want what's best for you. Well, what's best for me is to have you here with me, not out there risking your neck. Relax, Kate. The closest my job gets a TV is getting free donuts down her rings. Well, if it's that easy, then why do you carry that thing around with you? It's just a precaution, baby. Hell, it's never like I had to pull the thing. Well, that's a shame, seeing as how you're the second best shot in town. Oh, second best? I think we need to go back down to that firing range and we'll see who's second best. Yeah, sounds like a date. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the post office to pick something up. You didn't have to give me anything, Kate. And besides, it's not called a candle to what I got you. Well, what kind of fiancé would I be if I didn't get my man an anniversary gift? Stay safe, James. I'll have dinner by 7. Relax, baby girl. I'll be fine. I'll see you at 7. Oh, grab a bottle of wine on your way over. Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you could help me find something. You see, I'm a little new in town. Uh, sure, ma'am. What is it you're looking for? All the money in the register. Drop the weapon. Well, that ain't no way to speak to a lady. You know, you're the kind of stupid that some people mistake for brave. Thirty seconds. What's so goddamn hard about thirty seconds? Ran into trouble. Someone decided to go and play hero. Motherfuck, is he still alive? Well, do I need to get the others in here, or do you two feel competent enough to finish the job? Can I shoot him first? Look, just take the money and let the people go. Penalty for murder is far worse than for armed robbery. Oh well, aren't you the smart one? I should know the law. I'm a sheriff's deputy. <laughs> Ooh, Johnny, fucking law. Well, Johnny, what do you expect us to do, then? You three just drop your guns and leave town. I won't even try to follow you. Solid plan, Johnny Law. Take the money, never return. These people will go free, and so long as we're all men of our word. It'll be like tonight never even happened. Now, if you be so kind as to lower your peace. My boys would gladly do the same. Out of boy, Johnny. Lily grab the cash. Eddie grab his gun and get in the truck. That's a nice gun, Johnny. Ah, uh, can I help you, Johnny Law? You said that if I... No, 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 no. I said I'd let these people free. But you're not just people, are you, Johnny? You're a hometown hero. An integral part in the criminal justice system. And guess what? I hate justice. James?
so sorry, Kate. If there's anything I can do. Who was it? Who did this to my James? Witnesses say there were six of them. Three of them in the truck. Three of them holding up the store. Gave these folks quite a scare. So you're going to go after them? Uh, I'll see. I'll see what I can do. That's not good enough. We need to investigate, Kate. You know that. There's a whole process. Shut up. Unless you can tell me that you know where these murderers are and that you're going to find them. Don't you say another word. Miss White, what's the matter? Nothing, Billy. Uh, don't worry about me. It's a bit late. Does your daddy know where you are? Yes, Miss White. Daddy said he was real sorry it wasn't there when you stopped by. He sent me over the moment the truck came in. He said it would make you real happy. 